Hey everyone, back on the kitchen construction project. We currently have part of the ceiling down. We've got the walls down and we have this wall between the bathroom down. I put this board of uh, construction paper up for privacy. This is a live-in construction project. So we've got the sink here. We've got the um, gas range all hooked up and usable and we've got some plumbing here that's been redone this is all new PEX coming in and up from the existing existing copper We're currently doing some electrical this is some of the old stuff there was some work that was done in a not so professional way as this place was renovated over the years and we're redoing it all with um, 14.2 Romex. At this point we're going to be moving the refrigerator and some of the other objects from this corner of the room and we're going to start ripping down the rest of the sheetrock. Now the way this place was insulated this wall had no insulation whatsoever. I'm guessing in this climate back in the days people didn't use insulation on exterior walls or maybe they didn't use it at all and the attic cellulose stuff was added over the years. What's a real pain taking the ceiling down is this insulation is gonna drop and make a huge mess so what we end up doing is you see this fan I've got this pointed out the window oh I'll open this window when we get started and basically turn it on full blast and the idea is to just suck or push all the air all the dust air out of this room to create sort of a vacuum so the dust doesn't get all over you make a huge mess in the place I've got some plastic up so it doesn't get in the other rooms and just a towel over the other entrance and you can kind of see in the attic multiple over the years they used bats of insulation or the Owens Corning fiberglass and then they added some cellulose on top of that to increase the R value and you can see the whole ventilation system fully exposed and the electrical. So while we have this ripped down, we're going to replace these copper going to the laundry room because it's been rotted over the years. There was a bunch of mouse nest up there. Um, no longer active. Um, probably 20 or 30 years ago there was a mouse or squirrel. I don't know what it is. The The poops are pretty big so I'm, I'm guessing it's either rats or squirrels but they chewed through and I'm just gonna replace all this with the PEX. Same with the electrical. You can see that there's the old cloth covered ones. That stuff's all gonna go and we're gonna redo with Romex and have new circuits. Circuit for the appliance, garbage disposal, GFIs. There's gonna be one, two, three three of those refrigerator is going to be down here you can't really see it but it's behind this uh, new wall that we put in and lighting is also going to be redone and we're adding these recess lights I actually got a bunch of these at an estate sale um, they were ripping a whole building down that was practically brand new um, it was only a year old and owner bought it, decided they didn't like it, so they're ripping it down. And they had an estate sale, and we came in and got a bunch of these LED fixtures for a pretty good price. Saved it from going in the trash. So we've got seven of these, and we're just going to mount one, two, three, and then probably three more, and then maybe one in the... The laundry room down there because there's no light in there whatsoever 
The thing with these, these are IC rated so you can put insulation right up to them. So what we're going to do is, I got these bats here. Um, they're faceless because the vapor barrier is actually on the roof in this climate. And we're just going to shove this up. These are 15 inch. Um, these joy these uh, joists here vary between 14 and 13 and a half. Um, yeah, we're just going to use friction, push that in there. And then once we get the sheetrock up, we'll have uh, some additional cellulose stuff added on top, just blown in like, like before. In this video, we're going to show you how to rip down some of this stuff, this ceiling sheetrock. I've already got it started, and we're going to kind of see what, what we're dealing with. Um, the idea is you get some form of leverage. In this, this example, we've already got most of the ceiling down, but you just start ripping it down and hope to contain as much of the, the insulation dust. Got your uh, PPE. Um, make sure you have some sort of a respirator mask, gloves. Uh, long sleeve, um, all that stuff, because you don't want to be breathing that in, especially if there's mouse nests and stuff up there, because there was a whole thing of poops, and you'll see when we start ripping this down, there's going to be a whole bunch of them. Um, luckily, this place has been fully sealed, so there's no more risk of infestation, but in the past, you can tell that there was a very extensive infestation in the attic, so... We're going to get up there, start ripping this down. Um, going to move these appliances out of the way so we don't damage them because this is a new refrigerator and hate to ding it up doing construction. So just be smart about that and going to move this stuff out of the way and have an open working space. And then just going to work around here, around the attic access and we'll start having this, we'll have the ceiling fully exposed and then we can start getting into this, these cloth covered ones, start ripping this out and putting the new, uh, the new Romex in. You want to get as much of this ceiling stuff done while you've got access. There's, there's no access in up, upstairs. This ventilation, these, this ductwork, this pretty much blocks this whole side of the attic from access. Um, it was a pain in the butt just pulling wires through down this wall without this access. So we're going to do as much as we can. We're going to also have a hole cut in here for a range in the roof. And then adjacent, we'll have one in the bathroom.